Hi everyone, it's Dar with Healy Technology Report, and today we've got something very special for you. It's Allura Gateway, uh, UG65. Now, a lot of you have heard about the Internet of Things IoT, and that's what uh, we're talking about today. So, uh, Internet of Things for uh, commercial applications, when we're talking about uh, smart buildings, smart farms, uh, are devices like this. Now, this is a light sensor, uh, and you would put these around your city, your building, your farm, uh, and they come in all different styles. So this one does light, you can also get soil, you can get moisture, leak uh, detection, uh, doors being opened. Uh, there's just a broad range. And you'll find these on our web store at buyphonesonline.ca slash IOT for the internet of things. So check that out. So you have these devices and then much like uh, any of our uh, laptops or cell phones, uh, it broadcasts to an antenna. But in this case, it's not a Wi-Fi antenna. It's not a DEC antenna for wireless phones. It's not a 5G antenna. It's a LoRa antenna. So this is essentially an access point and you need one of these to pick up the signal from all of your IoT devices. Now you say, why do we need a brand new technology? Why can't we use uh, Wi-Fi? Why can't we use 5G? Why can't we use Bluetooth? Well, there's uh, some very specific reasons for that. Uh, with this type of device and this, uh, this technology, you can get kilometers of distance out of it. And that's not something that you can do with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, uh, especially if you're talking about a non-directional antenna like this is. So you can have uh, sensors, you can have them out in the, uh, in the fields for a smart farm kilometers away. You can have them spread across a building, uh, multiples of floors, tens of uh, hundreds of thousands of square feet, and you will still be able to pick up those sensors and get the data coming in. Now, the other thing that's really important about the LoRa technology is the power consumption. Now, a device like this does not have a power cord. There's no PoE in it. There's no uh, power adapter required. What you do is you mount this. You take this bracket, you mount the bracket on a wall, you put this in, and there's a battery in here. And that battery will last five to 10 years. So you can very well stick this, again, out in a field somewhere, out in a utility room, an industrial uh, room somewhere, and it will continue ticking for year after year after year. There's battery power sensors in here. So when you see your reporting for, in this case, the light in Lux, uh, you will also see the amount of uh, battery capacity. So when we're getting close to the uh, five plus years, uh, it, will, it will let you know that battery needs to be replaced and then it can be replaced and the sensor keeps on working. So really, really interesting technology. This um, gateway, uh, does bridge, in this case, I've got an Ethernet cable plugged in, that's how it's pow powered. But it can also, uh, instead of going to Ethernet, uh, you can power it with a power adapter and connect it with uh, Wi-Fi. It uses LTE as well, so you can use a cellular connection with it, and of course, uh, LoRa. There's an antenna on it here. Now this, this one here uh, is uh, specify to provide about two kilometers of distance in an indoor space. So if you're talking about a office uh, tower, so you can imagine that does a, a very large space or external uh, line of sight up to 10 kilometers of, uh, of distance. Uh, and so great device. You'll find this on our online store at buyphonesonline.ca slash IOT. And there's a whole lot of Internet of Things uh, devices and sensors for commercial buildings and, and commercial farms there. Uh, you want to subscribe to our channel because we've got uh, a lot of videos coming out of how to configure this, uh, how to connect other sensors up to it, and to connect everything together. Now, uh, one other thing I'll, I'll mention, you say, well, this is a lot of new stuff to use. Do I want to go and learn about this and get connected? Well, I think it's it's really essential in the, in the days we're coming to here. These sensors that we're plugging into it, uh, they also have 
very simple uh, thresholds that you can program. And what that means is uh, if this is a, a pipe uh, pressure uh, sensor for a pipe, you can say if the pressure exceeds a certain uh, pressure or it goes below a certain pressure, that's, um, that's an alert notification or something wrong and it'll send you an email or update your support staff uh, as to what the issue is. And so it's really easy to keep an eye on, on whether it's uh, your, your uh, uh, pressure or the darkness or the temperature or the moisture or leaks or open doors or there should not be open doors. Check us out online by phonesonline.ca slash IOT for more information uh, and please subscribe. I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching.